There we go. Good morning, folks. Good morning. Good Wednesday morning. Today is Wednesday, July 15th, 2020. 2020, in case you forgot what year or what day or whatever it was. Uh, good morning. And thank you for uh, thank you for joining me. Thank you for giving of some of your time um, to be with me live this morning, or some other time during the day or the week. Just a midweek devotional, and and perhaps a couple announcements along the way. I'll do those before we we get into it. Yes, I'm a few minutes early. If you're watch looking at your watch or your clocks, wait a minute. Why is PB on so early? Well, I uh, I have a a dentist appointment at nine o'clock. First time in. Uh, too long, uh, so I don't want to be late and uh, that kind of stuff. Anyway, uh, yes, PB here, Pastor Brian. A couple announcements. Yes, we uh, of course we have worship coming up on on Sunday, and if you're interested in participating in any of our worship services over the upcoming weeks or months, you know let let me know. Let Matt know. Uh, we've got a few different places where we can we can use you. Uh, if you want to use your your gifts as a speaker, um, you can help me out by being one of the uh, one of the liturgists, one of the readers uh, on a given Sunday, uh, whether it's early service or or the regular service, the eight fifteen or ten forty five. And uh, if you want to share your musical gifts, either through singing or playing an instrument, let Matt know um, so that he can coordinate that and plug that together. And if you need his contact information, uh, just reach out to me and uh, we'll we'll put you in touch with each other. We'll connect you up there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, the other, the, another way to help out is uh, is with our greeters slash uh, door, door holders, because um, we are trying to make sure that only one person is 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 using a door, touching the doorknobs at any time, letting the opening the door, letting people in, welcoming them at the same time. And uh, if you're interested in uh, in helping out in that way, Norma Jean Boyd is uh, is coordinating that. Um, but you can reach out to me, and I'll again connect you up with her. We'll put you in touch with each other, so uh, so that that can be taken care of, and we can make sure we're covered and and keeping everyone safe. Now, this other one is is newer, of course, um, the video crew and the video team. Yes, we've been doing live streaming and we're using our using a cell phone to do it and things have been working well. Yes, we've got our ups and downs with it and we do make mistakes from time to time. Uh, just being human. We are looking at updating, upgrading perhaps is a better way, our, our system of how we do it and making it simpler and easier, more efficient um, in, a, in a variety of different ways. And uh, if you want to be a part of, of putting that system together and, and helping us to evaluate and to see what we need, let me know. Maybe that's where your gifts are if you're real strong in that kind of stuff. Or if you don't really want to help plan but you want to help participate, um, as far as you know, being one of the camera operators, uh, learning how to how to do that, learning how to to control the uh, the switcher, uh, go from the from the video feed to the uh, the input from the computer, so that we can see PowerPoint and all that kind of stuff. Uh, reach out to me, let me know, um, so we can we can do coordination on that kind of stuff, and or you can also call talk to Carl. Um, he's been doing a lot of that stuff and, uh, we're, we're still, we're trying to figure the whole thing out. So get, let him know, let me know, and we'll, we'll go from there. All right. Okay, cool. Devotional. going to do things a little bit differently this morning. Yes, I'm going to refer to a scripture, but today's devotional is really just going to be a poem, um, that I, that I just read in, uh, this book, Streams in the Desert. The streams in the desert for today, um, but it made me think of a scripture anyway. So uh, I, I'm thinking of uh, I'm thinking of Paul's letter to the Romans, because well, I was going to say I don't know about you, but I do know about you, because I think it's one of the things in which we're uh, which are universal in which we we're all we're all the same in this aspect. When it comes to being a disciple, when it when it comes to to trusting God and to following God. It ain't always easy, am I right? Yeah, I know, I'm sure I am. It ain't always easy. Um, and, and Paul writes to the Romans, talking about this struggle, this inward struggle between doing what's right and doing what God is calling us to do and, and not quite reaching it. 
you know, it's a, it's a human, a struggle of human nature. He says, the, the thing I want to do, I don't do. And the thing I don't want to do, that's what I do. And I think that's how it is with discipleship. We, we want to follow Christ. We want to, to be his arms, his hands and his feet. And we, we don't always get there. And sometimes it's, it's hard to trust. Sometimes it's hard to have that, that faith and determination that we need. And so uh, I found this poem that kind of struck me this morning. <clears throat> it is easy to love him when the blue is in the sky, when the summer winds are blowing and we smell the roses high. There is little effort needed to obey his precious will when it leads through flower-decked valley or over sun-kissed hill. It is when the rain is falling or the mist hangs in the air, when the road is dark and rugged and the wind no longer fair, when the rosy dawn has settled in a shadow land of gray, that we find it hard to trust him and are slower to obey. It is easy to trust him when the singing birds have come and their songs of praise are echoed in our heart and in our home, but it's when we miss the music and the days are dull and drear that we need a faith triumphant over every doubt and fear. And our blessed Lord will give it. What, what we lack, he will supply. Let us ask in faith, believing on his promises, reply, rely, sorry. He will ever be our leader, whether smooth or rough the way, and will prove himself sufficient for the needs of every day. And before you ask, I don't know who wrote it. <laughs> but I, I pray those words will, will touch you and inspire you and help you realize you're not alone when you struggle with, uh, with your discipleship, when you struggle with your walk of faith, when you struggle with trusting God in having faith in this life, especially in these times. Let's pray. Gracious God, thank you for this day and thank you for your gifts to us, which are many and manifold and the greatest of which is your son, Jesus, through whose life, death, and resurrection we have received the amazing justifying grace that you offer us and have been made right with you. These things are humbling. And God, we want to we want to be good followers. We want to trust you. We want to do what we discern you're, you're asking us to do. And we don't always get it right. Help us, Lord. Help us to, to just trust you a little bit better today than yesterday. Now, Papa, our prayers continue for all who need you and all, all, all who need some healing in their lives. We pray for all those who are working so hard during this time to come up with cures and vaccines for, for this disease. And we pray for all those who are, who are trying to lead us and give us the best information they, they have available at any one time which God can easily be frustrating because sometimes the, the information changes and so the guidance changes. And help us to be willing to adjust and to understand that that's how science works because we don't have all the answers, and especially not at any one time. But we pray for all those who are in dangerous and difficult situations, all those in the medical field, uh, all those in the service industry who supply our needs and fill our needs and take care of us in those ways. We pray for all those who are separated from family and friends because of lockdowns and, and the danger. Help us to uh, prompt us, Lord, prompt us to, to reach out through through the phone or through the internet 
to some folks that, that might be especially lonely, that we could, we could help them to heal. And Papa, we ask, lift all these things to you in, uh, in your son Jesus' precious name. Amen. All right, folks. Thank you so much. Have a blessed day and uh, a blessed rest of the week.